Uh, I'm happy to get the I'm happy to get the win. Um, very happy for Mark Sinclair playing his old team, and, and we weren't able to get any separation for him. So every shot that he faced down the stretch was was a critical shot, and and he made some some good saves for us. So very happy for him. That's not an easy thing to do to go in, in a tight game. If we would have had a couple goal cushion or something like that, it would have been a little bit more relaxing for him. And, and I thought he stood stood tall enough. Yeah, it seemed like there were times where. You know, your team came out with some energy, but it, there are also times where, uh, you know, the Chargers were able to get some momentum with some uh, some poor checking and obviously the goal that, that they scored. Um, did you think your team had a complete effort today? What were your thoughts on, on the energy level? Um, I mean, I think the energy level was fine. I think that, uh, you know, I think that that uh, Huntsville played a, played a good, strong hockey game. They did the same thing at Lake State. You know, it's... Uh, I think the difference in the game is that we have um, more veterans and at least one skill, you know, one goal skill better than them. So um, we're lucky. We're lucky to come out with the win. Very happy. Yeah, just talk more about Mark's uh, play and goal today. What, what do you like about the way he plays? I like everything about it. He's calm in the net. Uh, you know, this is a big change for him because he's used to getting, you know, 45 shots a game. I don't know what his average was last year, but it was a lot. And now he's getting, you know, he's getting half of that. Um, so that's not easy to do. But but uh, I think Jamie Jamie Phillips is doing a great job with with all of our goaltenders. I think we have, I think goaltending is a, a strong suit of our hockey team for sure. Just talk more about Jamie being part of this program too this year. Um, how did that opportunity come together for him? Well, we've talked about it quite a bit over over the years. Um, I've always handled the goaltending and. It seems more and more now that that um, players are more comfortable working on their vulnerabilities and developing the vulner vulnerabilities with someone other than the head coach who's making a decision on them all the time. So uh, Jim and I again have talked about it. You know, we had a great relationship when he was here, and he, you know, he wanted to get his masters, and I told him when that opportunity presented itself that that. I do everything I could to to get him back involved in the program, and he's done a phenomenal job. It's great to have him around. Yeah, obviously a busy month for you guys. I think uh, ten out of twenty six regular season games this month. Um, obviously a weird year. Just talk about how the team. You know, it's got to be weird not playing in the GLI this year. Just I guess talk about where the team is at at this point. Uh, your thoughts on you know the progress the team has made, um, and just how you see the team moving forward. Well, we'll we'll know more next weekend when we play Mankato again. They're Mankato, you know, they're they're getting shutouts like they're, you know, like they're on sale at uh, Walmart. So um, they don't give up much. They don't give up goals. They don't give up shots. They don't give up much at all. And they handled us uh, fairly well, especially the second game um, when they were here. Uh, and now we we get to go to their barn for regular regular season games. So we'll know more at that time. I, I thought this weekend was a step back um, for us coming off the break, and um, hopefully the the uh, the intensity and the focus will be a little stronger next weekend. Um, you got uh, three points out of your defensive core tonight. Um, they seem to be picking up the slack that the offense may have shown today. Uh, any, um, I saw in the third period you were running a shorter bench with just your top three lines with Bantle and Bliss switching off on their pairings. Um, what was the reason behind that? Yeah, actually we weren't. If you notice, uh, Paul Glace and, and uh, Ganey and those guys got, uh, got a regular shift right up, maybe to the last three minutes or so. So um, we actually didn't short. What we did do is change some lines up because we weren't, we were just trying to find some sort of a combination with, you know, with some compete um, that would, you know, win us some battles before second man and systematically get us in, in position to, you know, just do things a little bit quicker than we wanted to do. I thought, I think, I think we had players, several players that fought um, the way that you need to play to be successful. And, and you could almost see it in, in some guy's eyes. They, they wanted to play a certain way and that, and, you know, when you look at the score sheet, they might have had one shot or no shots in the entire game um, playing that way. So when they've had success, you know, we're building momentum and success from our forward units up until the break. So that's why I said hopefully uh, 
hopefully the compete will be will surface a little more. Uh, it's going to have to surface a little more next weekend. Um, the skill level, the puck support, the speed, everything's going to have to be, everything's going to have to go up, a, you know, a couple of levels in order for us to have success on the road at Mankato. Um, with the Mankato series coming up, uh, with the you've got the week now to prepare for, it. is it going to be more of like an endurance trying to build up some stamina here, or are you trying to more focused on what Mankato is going to try to do against you this week? Could could you rephrase that? I don't. I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, for the for the week uh, building up to Mankato, are you more worried about the endurance of the team trying to keep up a steady pace, or more towards the tactics that Mankato is going to try to shut you guys down? Oh, that's a really good question. What I'm really looking at is what I think what we're really looking for is hard skill, um, because Mankato has you know if you if you if you study Mankato at all or you, you look at them, they have tremendous players that don't even get in the lineup. They have a first or a second round, third round, whatever uh, player on their team that that is that, that's in and out of the lineup. And and I mean they have players that be in the top six and in the top three on other teams in our league. That, that aren't in the lineup regularly. Um, and they really have established a culture of hard skill. And there's, a, there's as much or more emphasis on winning battles um, than there probably is on, on making plays because they, you first have to have the puck to make plays. And then, when they, and, then, and then I think secondary from that, then it's about making plays. Um, you know they're they're strategic in how they control momentum of games. At times they'll draw penalties. At times they'll comp- you know they go down easier. At times they compete really hard and they're up. You know they're they're you know they play a gamesmanship type of game for momentum and those are all things you have to offset. So if you're over competing or, or you know getting aggressive when they're in their you know draw penalty mode, you know it changes momentum of games as well. So there's a lot you have to be totally on top of every part of your game. When you're playing against them, so to answer your question, we first have to match their hard skill. Um, that's going to be number one, and and uh, now that that comes into you know having the endurance to be able to do it for an entire game and all those things. So, and having the skills. So it really encompasses everything you're talking about.